Money Germs. It's your boy Joseph T. Callis with another episode of Producer Process. Uh, we're gonna make this one quick because I got a pot pie in the oven, and yeah, <laughs> you heard me. Uh, I'm just coming from the gym, so I probably shouldn't be eating that, but oh well, you know how it go. Rome wasn't built in the day, <laughs> but uh. Anyway, uh, today I'm not going to be making a beat, you know, the producer process. What I do is show y'all the process of scratch, start to finish of, you know, making a beat and putting it out there. But today what I'm going to do is not make the beat. The beat I made on another video uh, recently. This time I'm going to take one of the beats that I made and fully mix it and also sequence it. Um, I ain't gonna give you, I ain't, I ain't gonna give you no cap. Uh, I already actually mixed this track, <laughs> and in the middle of mixing it, I was like, "Damn, I should have been recording this so they could see it." So, uh, whenever I mix anything or record anything, when I save stuff, I always save it like the name of this track is "Dopeness." Is a dopeness, a dopeness one, a dopeness two, three, blah, 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 and that way I can always step back. I can always go back and change something if I didn't like it. Um, and uh, that's my phone. Don't, don't mind that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm going back to the original beat uh, without before I made any changes beyond the video so that you can see what I did. Now, I'm not going to uh, once again, I ain't gonna give you no cap. It's not going to be in the order of which I I did it because I already done it. And I don't remember exactly the process, but I will go in this, to it saying uh, some of the sounds were too loud. Certain things were distorted. Once I put, uh, you know, some of the mastering stuff on there and everything, it just, it wasn't clean the way I want to. It didn't sound professional. Uh, so I'm going to go through the changes that I did make. Um, even if they're not in the order that I did them, hopefully you can, you can see what, what I did and why I did it. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna let you hear the track. This is the track. It's called the dopeness. I put compression on top of it when I made the beat. So yeah, it don't really don't need to be that loud. And if you need to put it that loud, that means something else is turned up too loud. You know what I'm saying? So once that changed, you see that I also, if you remember, if you watched that video, I added a, a secondary drum just to strengthen those drums because I didn't like how it hit. But right now, those are hitting a little too hard or, or harder than I really need them to hit. So I'm gonna uh, pull these down to negative 641. Again, I know these levels already. I'm not going to cap y'all. Like, I'm going to sit here and try to freak with it and act like, oh, yeah, that's how I'm not. I, I know what levels I'm going through because I already mixed it. So, but really the main purpose is just to show you what I did and then also to show you some sequencing techniques. So now those, those drums mix a little better. What I'm also going to do is turn the string down because it's really dominating the track. So... I had that turned all the way down. I turned that joint down to about 903. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hit, I, just so I can get back to that exact number, I'm gonna hold shift and then scroll because it allows you to scroll a little slower without it moving so fast. All right, the next thing, uh, the piano. I love that piano, but that thing is, you know, I mean, just like if I turn down them strings, I gotta turn on the piano. So right now, is that negative 423. I'm gonna turn it all the way down. The 
Thing to be clear, you know what I mean? And I really want the, the 808 to be a little more pronounced in this track than, than the, the melody. I mean, I still want the melody to be clear, but I don't want it overshadowing the 808. And also, when the artist gets um, on the track, I don't want the, those high levels and high frequencies to be clashing with the vocals. Now, obviously, we still want this joint to bump and be clear and bump. So, what I do next is if you ever notice when, when I'm uh, setting up my uh, page to start making a beat, I have this Synapse GQ7 graphic equalizer set up as a, in, in my rack mount uh, as a default. You won't have that when you first get your uh, Reason 10, but this is something you can uh, set up in your default window. And basically, it's almost like the rest of the master section, uh, bus compressors and everything. I put it right over here. I don't need to put it on there. I put it right here in the corner by itself and it stays right there. So what you want to do is you go to effects, it's common sense, go, go all the way down till you get to uh, the Synapse GQ equalizer. That's this does come with the uh, system. Pull it over here, put it in there. You're going to uh, open this up and you're going to uh, load up a low cut repatch. Now, as you see, it just moved the line over here because this is where the low cut brings it. Once you load that low cut up, you're going to go here and you're going to turn this dial all the way up till it gets to 3.3 hertz. Yeah, why is it moving? There you go. Right? Once you got that, you know, X out of the other thing, tab to the back, and you see the lines are already connected. But unfortunately, this does not connect the lines for you um, automatically. So you have to come back here and do this yourself. So you tab to come back here. This will be empty. You're going to click right here and you're going to drag a chord over to this. And then you can click from this output and drag a chord over to this dynamics uh, input. Once you do that, you're done. Now, the reason we do that is if you listen to the track now, right? Let's how everything sounds. Sounds cool. But, you know, it don't got that oomph, right? As soon as you hit this on button right here, check this out. You hear how that jump? You hear the sound jump? Tough, right? However, we're not finished yet because it's still, if you're listening, it's still a little distorted. It's louder now, but it's a little distorted. Because what that does is it, it compresses all the high frequencies 
and lets the uh, bass frequencies do their thing. But now it's, it's smashing too hard. So the next step in uh, what I do for that is I go over here to the master section in the rack mount, click on show insert effects, right? When you do this on yours, you're gonna have this M-Class Maximizer on. I don't want this on because I'm not using it. Now you may can use it, you might wanna use it. You can use any one of these. I don't particularly use this one. I've used it before. I don't like the sound in comparison to what I use. So I click this to bypass and I, I, I import, I go to FX, scroll down again till I get to Ozone Maximizer and put one of them right underneath it. Uh, and also, uh, I put a C-Lig gain underneath that. Now these, you don't have to route anything, you don't have to do anything, they'll connect automatically. Right now, there's nothing playing through this because if you go back up and look at master section, it's bypass. As soon as I hit bypass, it's gonna sound like a different track. Listen. You hear that? Now it's, it's, it's still got that boom, but no distortion. And what that does is, if you go to your uh, mixer and you click reset on the uh, uh, VU meter, uh, I think this was the VU meter, it's not going past zero. Basically what this thing does is, it allows your uh, song to be as loud as possible without going past zero. And if you pull on this meter right here, you can actually make it louder. But I'm not going to, I like how it is at zero, I don't need any louder than what it is. And the reason I put the ceiling gain on there is because you can hit mono and listen to your track and see how it would sound if it was in mono. It sounds a whole lot different, but it's still clear. And the, the good thing about this is sometimes when you do that, certain things might not be so good, so, so you may have to go back into your mixing and, and adjust some things, but I'm cool with where it is. So that's that's the in general the mix uh, of the track. All right. So I'm gonna pause for a minute and then come back and then when I come back uh, because I got my Popeye in the uh, oven, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to sequence the thing. So I'll be right back. Mm, excuse me. All right, folks. I'm back. All right. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how I sequence this joint. Um, I'm gonna try to get through it the way I did the first time. You know what I mean? I took some notes so I can remember. <laughs> uh, but just bear with me. I'm gonna show you what I did, did and how I do it. So let's get right to it. First thing I'm gonna do, oh, and the pot pot was off the chain. <laughs> first thing I'm gonna do is highlight all of the uh, tracks in the sequence. I'm gonna control C. Uh, I wanna say that's command C on the Apple. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then uh, control V or command V to paste it. And I'm just going to do that until I get to the end. And I always do that. They don't mean this song is going to be that long, but, you know, it gives you something to work with. Double click to stop. Takes you back to the top. I'm going uh, to uh, disable the loop so that it plays all the way through. So, for first thing I'm going to do um, is I have a four bar intro on this. And uh, as you can hear, well, I don't have anything going right now. If you listen, it's just the beat playing. But it's the same thing. There's no drops. All of the sounds are playing. Everything is there. You know what I mean? So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play while I'm doing it. But I'm gonna mute out these strings. I'm also gonna mute out this echo baby piano and the grand piano. So when it starts, it comes straight and raw like that. Turn this to 116. And right about here, let me make sure I'm looking at it right. Let me, let me scroll in. 
because like I said, I got some notes to remember exactly how I did it, <laughs> but I, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right for y'all. Drop these hi-hats out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice all of this right here, and I'm going to drop these hi-hats out. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's already already broken down a little bit, but what I want to do is add an additional drop right before the beat the beat comes in. You know what I'm saying? So like you'll have it, but and it's playing, but I wanted to just drop out all together. You know what I mean? So let's listen to that. Also, I don't know why I didn't do this. I want to uh, get these out of here too. All right, I like that. But what I'm uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna delete these these two right here, leave that note in there, and then pl uh, play it. Mm. Let me hear it without it again. Like I said, this isn't an exact science. I don't even remember, I don't know if I had to left them drums in there or not, but. Now I'm feeling differently about them. Right now we're going to leave them. So this right here would be the hook. Got an 8-bar hook. 4-bar intro, 8-bar hook. A lot of times you guys be making beats and y'all want to put 16, 20-bar intros. You want to break down each individual thing so that the people can hear them. Nah, stop doing that. Nobody wants needs that big lead in track especially if you're an artist you never know when the drop is coming what's going on you got to wait like at that point it's not about you as the producer it's about the artist so at that point you got to take your ego out of it and um you know just set it up so it's the perfect place for the artist as opposed to wanting everybody to hear every detail of your sound plus if your track is that banging and people love the song the more they listen to it those little elements that you put in there they're going to catch later on anyway so the next thing I'm gonna do is that um, it, it, the 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 vo vocals when you come in the drop of this track uh, is gonna be right here starting at uh, 13. Um, that's the next uh, set of bars. So basically, at that point, we would have had uh, 12 bars play already. The four bar intro and then an eight bar uh, eight bar loop for your uh, hook. So right here at um, at uh, 13. You know, that's where the rap is going to go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these uh, echoes because I know they're going to be out for most uh, most of, the, of, of it. Um, and uh, I, I didn't put a drop leading into it. I just go straight into it. What I want to do is I'm going to change. So I'm going to let that play for eight bars uh, for your vocals. The average, you know, I'm from the old school. Our average raps a 16 bar loop. So I'm, I'm setting all the verses up for 16 bar loops. If you're doing your song, you don't have to do 16s. You might want to do 24s. You might want to do what a lot of the young boys do nowadays, which is 12 bar loops. I mean, whatever floats your boat. I'm old school, so I like 16s. So I know I'm going to play this for eight bars. And then on. I want to switch it up, though, by the, the second set of eights. So what I'm going to do is at 20, I'm going to slice all of this all together. Right, so that it, I'm gonna take my razor uh, and and click up here into the ruler, and when you once you do that, it slices everything along that line. If you do it on the individual tracks, then it just does the individual tracks. But I want the whole thing to be sliced right there. So I'm gonna put a slap a slice right there, and uh, like I said, I want to drop right there. Uh, I'm gonna uh, mute these drums, but I'm gonna change this bar to one sixteenth, right? And I'm going I'm to get a little closer because I know I want to mute these drums, but I'm not going to mute them all the way out. I'm going to mute most of them, but I'm going to keep these last two notes in there. So 
the rest of it muted out, right? Um, I'm going to mute this kick because obviously if the drums aren't there, we don't need that. And um, the echo is uh, going to be muted. Uh, and I'm going to also mute this 808, but not the whole thing. I'm, I'm going to mute this one uh, note and I'm going to leave the roll in there. And um, I'm going to mute all these hi-hats. And everything else is good. So I'm going I'm to bring it back so that you can hear that little drop. So from this is the end of the hook going into the, to the verse. You can put certain things in here, but once again, you don't want to do too much because right here is where your artist is going to be rapping. I like that drop. So continue with that without the echo piano because we don't need. I know that I don't want that there, but uh, we're gonna move back at 21 because now I want to. I want to change it though. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, that we mute, muted out these echo strings, continue to mute out these extra strings. But what I'm also going to do is mute out the strings for this, uh, for this stanza. So now you go from this. about 28 and a half I'm gonna uh, shoot I might as well just X the whole thing so first thing I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna go ahead because I know I want to mute this out but I want to leave this first note and I'm gonna mute these ones out delete 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 I'm gonna leave the first note and the last two to come into the next part I'm also gonna delete the uh, hi-hats but I'm going to leave what I did on the other one was I left in uh, the, I left in the last note that I had, so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that one out, mute, I'm gonna delete this one out. So let's let's play that back. Right it back into the hook. Now a lot of people on these things they do this i'm gonna do this one here right here i'm gonna drop out i'm gonna drop the hi-hats out all together on this um on this part of the hook it wasn't something i did on the other one but i, I felt like i wanted to do that you know what i mean hey there's no rhyme or reason so on this one i'm gonna drop these strings again i'm gonna drop these strings because these these strings are gonna drop be dropped for most of the next uh uh next one so mute those out right from from 37 and I'm going to drop the echo out. Now, the echo, I'm not going to drop for as many uh, bars. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to just drop now for eight bars because I'm going to bring those back in and you'll see it when, when we go. Um, so right now, you know, after the hook come, goes off, it goes into this. drums out and I'm also mute, mute these hi-hats again all right but then since I'm here I'm gonna mute out this piano at 45 boom we don't want that you know what I'm saying 
Uh, but the freaky thing is, remember I said the echo piano, I was going to bring it back in. So let's, let's back up a little bit and, and hear what that sounds like after that drop. in there right now see i want y'all to hear it while i'm doing it but i already know where the drops is coming and what's going to happen so at 52 and a half i'm gonna put another slice in there right i'm gonna mute the drums again boom but i'm gonna mute everything except, except the first note so i'm just gonna delete all this leave that first note in there because that last hit right before it goes out sometimes it's kind of slick and it happens to be real slick with this uh with this uh beat um the hi-hat i'm gonna mute this middle note alone i don't want i don't want to mute anything except for this middle note mute and on this one uh i'm gonna mute everything except for the last note on the hi-hat put this drop in there all right so let's let's back out of that and this is the second stanza of, the, uh, of that Already now we got one last verse. You know what I mean? It's like what, what can we do now? We did so much other stuff. We ain't over yet, fam. So I'm gonna pause this. All right. So right at uh, 61, that's where the next uh, uh, 16 bar verse starts. I'm going to let me hit bar. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a. Uh, well, I don't got. I really ain't gotta do that because it starts right there. So I'm gonna mute the strings. We mute the strings till about 65. Mute them. Uh, what else? The echo, I'm going to mute to, what, what I got it at? 73. Mute that. And then we're going to mute the piano to, at, to 69. So right here. All right. So now with this one, we basically muted everything. So all you really get now is the drums at the door. So let's do that. Just straight. That's just a hip hop right there. right here let me take this bar off and put 16 1 16th on it and I'm gonna slice right here boom and I'm gonna mute out these little pieces of hi-hat all right and that's that's basically the last verse so let, let's listen to that from the top since I did all that Listen, you, you 
say you want to be a producer. I know this might seem tedious, but at the end of the day, this is what this is a part of it. Like for me, I love this part. You know what I mean? I get to think like a rapper and putting it in and listen to the different drops. And this is this is minor. I mean, you can do so much more. You know, I'm just giving y'all a shell of what you can do. Out. I want to bring them 808s back right there. And there it is. Ain't a whole lot to it, you know what I mean? Um, I, wait, but one thing before I let y'all go, I'm gonna show you. Um, I, I want to show you how I, I I put my tag in. Now, a lot of times I'll go to the N19 and I will load up the sample and just do it that way. But on, on the, in this circumstance, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna add. A, I'm gonna create a track, create an audio track. Oh, not there. Edit undo down here. Create an audio track. And I am just really going to, uh, where is it? I'm just going to bring it in. Uh, there it is. All right. And so with this, I already got it made. I, all I got to do is decide where I want to put it. <laughs> so let's, let's listen to this beginning. There it is. I'm gonna just put it right there at the beginning. And the thing I love about Reason when you import stuff, it automatically adjusts to the tempo. So it stretches, time stretches it for you. So I ain't gotta do much. I'm gonna have to do something because I started late. Uh, if the tempo is right, it just gotta I just gotta make get a start at the right place. So what I'm going to do in order to fix that is chop off a little bit of this beginning part and then bring it about right there. About like that. Let me look into it again. I might have to move it freehand because the timing is right, but it starts a little early, I think. I like that. There we go. And then I'm going to go up here. I'm turning it up a little bit. Yeah, that's nice right there. So, name this tag. 
And then I'm going to let this ride out for y'all, man. I hope y'all appreciated this video. I hope y'all liked it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And I'm going to keep, keep trying to bring quality videos to y'all, man. Take it easy. Have a good day.